This is our Tesla Model S P85D. Now you may have seen other videos and tests online, but this is not a borrowed car from Tesla. We bought this fully electric car for almost $128,000 and put it through our own rigorous tests here at Consumer Reports. We put cars through all sorts of tests. Today we are highlighting three tests, avoidance maneuver, braking, and acceleration. The avoidance maneuver simulates swerving out of your lane to avoid hitting an obstacle in the road and then swerving back into your lane to avoid oncoming traffic. We use two drivers and average their fastest time through the course without hitting a cone. We're not relying on the speedometer or a stopwatch. We use a laser to measure the car's precise speed. And a judge watches the test to make sure the cones escape untouched. So how did it do? Equipped with the optional 21-inch wheel package, our car made it through at 55.5 miles per hour. That's really good. Performance car numbers from a big luxury car like this. The avoidance maneuver course is part of our 327 acre test facility. We monitor the surface friction of more than three miles of roads to make sure all cars have an equal playing field. To get reliable brake numbers, the car has to be fully broken in. Before this or any other track test, we drive the car at least 2,000 miles. The day before we do brake testing, we do 10 half-G stops to make sure the brakes are seated in just right. We start the test when the driver hits the pedal, not when the car begins to slow. That's the only way to measure the performance of the whole system. After multiple stops on special sections of our track and adjusting for the track temperature, we found it takes just 118 feet to stop on dry pavement from 60 miles per hour and 129 feet in the wet. That's sports car territory. Now everyone's seen videos about how fast the P85D is, but when it says insane mode, it really means it. Our GPS-based V-Box measurement equipment is accurate down to two centimeters. We'll do four different runs, two each way to account for any minor wind or track slope differences. And here's the final result. The P85D rockets from zero to 60 in just 3.5 seconds. That's the quickest car we've ever tested but it doesn't quite match the 3.1 seconds claimed by Tesla. That's why we do all of this. Let's sum up. 55 and a half miles per hour through the avoidance maneuver, only 118 feet to stop on dry pavement, and just three and a half seconds to 60 miles per hour. Those are world-class numbers. And all out of an electric car that gets the equivalent of 87 miles per gallon. Yes, we tested that too. This proves that you can support higher fuel economy standards without sacrificing performance. And at Consumer Reports, we believe that improving fuel efficiency is a vital initiative. For more on the Tesla Model S, check out consumerreports.org.